Well, Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly, their family's growing. So the couple is expecting their first child together. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, that's our first hot topic brought to you by How the Grinch Stole Christmas at Walton Art Center. So the actress took to Instagram yesterday to announce that she's expecting baby number four with fiance Machine Gun Kelly. Now, the couple first met on the set of Midnight and the Switchgrass in March 2020. And they went public with their relationship after Fox appeared in his music video, Bloody Valentine, in May of that same year. And they became engaged back in 22. But I'm excited for this. I know we talked about, you know, we kind of thought that they had broken up yeah, there I for a there bit. And like, yes, point, right? but like I'm sure there was. Line. But yeah. I'm happy that, so I guess this is her fourth, his second child, their okay. first together. So congrats. Excited for him. Excited to see, uh, you know, Parents are superstars. Oh, so for sure. For sure. There? Speaking of growing families, Chris Pratt and Katherine Schwarzenegger have welcomed baby number three, and they announced the name is Ford Fitzgerald Schwarzenegger. Pratt was born Friday, November the 8th. The couple announced via Instagram yesterday. They said, quote, we are overjoyed to announce the birth of our son. Mama and baby are doing well, and Ford's siblings are thrilled by his arrival. We feel so blessed and grateful. Love, Catherine and Chris. Aww. Cute couple, cute family. And um, what a name. And what a name, Ford Fitzgerald. That's a mouthful. I, one of our uh, directors earlier said, sounds like he came out wearing blue jeans. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm uh, sure he did. <laughs> yes. Yeah, oh my goodness. <laughs> well, now, okay, I'm obsessed with this story. It made me cry. Bo the Bloodhound with the Gastonia Police Department in North Carolina is getting some time in the spotlight. He was named the Law Enforcement Hero Dog of the Year. So Bo has been instrumental in finding missing people, tracking down suspects, and supporting investigations. But his standout case was helping track down a missing child in a densely wooded area. So he tracked the boy sent for seven miles leading to a safe rescue and then he helped calm the boy who was in distress by licking and playing with him and uh, Sergeant David Rowland who's his handler says that his tracking success rate of 95 percent is well above the typical number for canines. How stinking cute is he? Oh my he? gosh look at his face. What a hero. <laughs> He's so sweet. Uh, oh, God, what a sweet pup right there. I love <laughs> oh my it. Goodness. Star Wars fans are excited this week. X-Men producer and Star Wars Rebel co-creator Simon Kinberg has been tapped to oversee a brand new trilogy of Star Wars films. Kinberg will write the trilogy and produce alongside Lucasfilm's Kathleen Kennedy. There are conflicting reports as to what the trilogy will actually be about, though it may be a direct continuation of the Skywalker saga, effectively making Kinberg the architect of episodes 10 through 12. However, others claim the trilogy will focus on a new storyline coexisting alongside other in-development projects. I know they mm. did announce a lot of uh, continuations of television shows. Yeah. They've got that Mandalorian and Grogu movie that's still on the cards there. Uh, but this one, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know if anybody expected another trilogy to be announced. No, and so. Star Wars, I think I told you earlier, it's kind of overwhelming yeah. the, the how many, but it's exciting though, really cool. There's a lot of it. Yes. <laughs> Well, some of the world's most popular animated characters have taken to the skies as Macy prepares for their annual Thanksgiving Day Parade. So among the balloons are characters that have never been seen before at the event, as well as the debut of a very famous mouse, Minnie. I can't believe that she's not been in the parade what? yet. That's I know. Wild. Okay. So Real Koss, who is the executive producer of Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, said, quote, We've been building these balloons over the last 8 to 12 months, and today is our first opportunity to fly them, see them, see how they react with wind and real-world conditions. I'm excited about that. I mean, it's exciting that they've got some new characters, yeah. keeping it fresh. What do you think about the Macy's Day Parade? You know, I love the Macy's Day Parade. I have some folks who have gone and volunteered because I believe you could just volunteer what? to walk <gasps> and hold one of the ropes of these floats. Oh uh, so I know people word. who have gone and done that before, and that that's wild to me. And it's always impressive. I mean, you are taking these gigantic balloons basically through the streets of New York City, and wind becomes a factor. Right. You know, uh, so you got to make sure that you're you're doing your job when you're holding these things to the ground, because we all know in New York City when wind gets trapped between all those tall buildings. Yes. Uh, so can you imagine one of those bad boys popping <laughs> right underneath you, Please holding no. that rope? Oh. Please no. I am excited for Minnie though. I had no idea she hadn't been in. The I know. Before. Come on, Mason. Yeah, come get on, get it, it together. together. Oh yeah, they gosh. got it together for this year, so I'm Finally. looking forward to seeing that one. <laughs>